So, boot up. Boot up. Here's the deal. Someone said they didn't believe me when I said that the boot times between this old XP machine I shambled together and a more modern computer were really not that far off. So that's the old guts. That's um, an Athlon or Athlon XP. This, this machine is a Celeron D. It's a Windows XP computer that I put together. That's the original IDE 40 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. And it's running Windows XP, home edition, 32-bit, of course, because nobody really runs XP 64. This is, well, you may have seen in some of my videos, this is my Ryzen 9 desktop. It's uh, on wheels, so I can roll it out and show you. It's full of bullshit. So, there you go. Um, what we're gonna do, actually, come out here. What we're gonna do is turn them on, which this one turning it on is this, and we're gonna time it. So, button click, listen for the click. All right, yeah. What you got for me? There you go. Come on, boot up, big boy. Alright, Windows XP Home Edition. I don't even think it has Service Pack 3. This computer's not used on the internet anyway, so who cares? There you go. Control Alt Delete Delete. No, wrong, uh, hang on a second. I have to get the hands. Oh, I didn't plug up the keyboard, did I? <laughs> oh god, okay. Well, you got the boot time. All right, we don't we don't care. You got the boot time. This computer's like 20 years old, and I've resurrected it by building a slightly newer version of the same thing. So we got the boot time clocked. Now, how long does it take for this to get up to a login screen? Oh, God, you heard that, right? Yeah, come on. Over here in the dark area. Come on, come on. If you're wondering, this my uh, Ultimate Ears Wonder Boom Bluetooth speaker. So, one of the things I've noticed with newer computers is it takes them longer to even get to a BIOS splash screen than some older computers. So, boot up. Boot up. Boot up faster. This is a Ryzen 9 with a, I think, Samsung Evo something or another. Okay. And now I can log in. So I got the times clocked. How close are they? <laughs> well, I'm gonna edit this and uh, you'll find out. But yeah, the boot times aren't that far off, now are they? And which is crazy, considering this is a modern machine running Windows 10 64-bit with an NVMe SSD that can push 5,000 megabytes a second. And that IDE hard drive there can't even touch 100. So yeah. There you go.